All right. We are going to talk today about a different kind of pronoun. We're going to talk about reflexive and demonstrative pronouns. And um, these are a little bit trickier. Um, so let's go ahead and start out by writing our name. And let's review, what I'd like to do is just review subject and object. So I'm going to do that really quickly. So I had subject and object pronouns. And I'm going to start out with I. And if we were in class, I would say, oh, who's I's partner? I's partner is me, right? And then we have he, she, it, and it becomes him, her, it. Then we have you, and we said you's partner is you. And then we have we, and then we have us. And then we have they, and they is partners with them, right? So this is the subject that's doing the action. This, this is a pronoun that receives the action. Now, reflexive pronouns are a little bit different, and so are demonstrative pronouns. So if something's reflexive, it means that the someone is performing the action on themselves. So for example, I didn't really think about this too much in English, but then when I learned French, there are lots of reflexive pronouns. So, and probably in Spanish as well. So things like brushing your teeth or brushing your hair, you are brushing yourself, right? And so brushing is a reflexive action. So a reflexive, reflexive pronoun show that a subject is performing an action on itself, right? That's kind of important to know. It may all, they may also call attention to the action. Like you might say, she is brushing her hair or she is brushing it herself, right? Then a demonstrative pronoun points out specific people, places, things, or ideas. So let's look at some examples. Reflexive pronouns would be myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, themselves. So basically we've taken object pronouns and we've added self or selves to the end of it, right? So you might say, I can babysit myself. You're performing the action on yourself. All right, in dance class, I can watch myself in the mirror. Jeff and Maria moved the mats themselves, right? So it's an object pronoun, but we've added self plus self or selves, right? So we would say, instead of me, we would say myself, right? We would say himself, herself, itself, yourselves, um, ourselves would be, it wouldn't be us, it would be ourselves and themselves, right? So these are the lists we're going to work on. We just basically are adding selves to it or self. These are demonstrative pronouns, this, that, these, and those, right? So an example would be, this is a new dance to learn. These are your fellow students. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yay. Sorry. No, that's okay. Like it it's totally fine. Okay. I'm glad I'm seeing this. Yeah. And I am thinking that yeah. this just happened. I'm agreeing. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like last night. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because it's fairly recent. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, you know what? I know. That's, that's all we needed. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh huh. So we have this is a new dance to learn. These are your fellow students. 
that is where we practice. These are the lockers we use, right? So these are all called demonstrative pronouns. And basically they're kind of giving direction, I would think. That's kind of what it feels like. They're pointing out specific people, places, things, or ideas, giving you a direction. Okay, now they're going to break it up so that we're doing reflexives here and we're doing demonstratives down here. So, write the correct reflexive pronoun on the line in the sentences below. So we are going to have to choose. This might be a little bit tricky. Let's, let's see. If we should do them all together, we might want to try doing them all together. Henry injured, hmm, while practicing a dance routine. Henry is a dude. So, herself, no, himself. So again, the action's happening to him. So that's why we're saying himself. It's reflexive. Now we have myself and ourselves. I made the dance costumes. Well, we have I, so which one's going to agree with I? Myself. Help hmm, to some juice after you've mastered the dance steps, yourself or itself. Well, we already have you here. They have to agree, right? So we couldn't say help itself. You would say help yourself to some juice after you've mastered the dance steps. So it has to agree with the subject. We dressed, hmm, before the dance recital. We is going to match with ourselves, right? Okay. That was not too bad. Now we're going to do demonstrative. This is a little bit tricky because some of these will work, like two or three of them might work for one sentence. This is one of those things where we're just going to kind of use our best judgment, right? If we were in class, I might get the answer book and just kind of make sure that we're doing the correct one because there's actually a couple of options. Here we go. We won't get the answer book. We'll just use our best guess. Write the correct demonstrative pronoun on the line in the sentences below. It's Saturday. Hmm is the day of our recital. Would we say this is the day of our recital? These are the day of our recital? No, because that's plural. That is the day of our recital. These are the lockers? No. I think we would probably say this is the day of our recital is probably the best. And I'm going to capitalize the T because it's the beginning of a sentence. Find the gray chairs in the closet. Hmm, are the chairs to set up in rows? I would say probably these because there's more than one chair, right? And these is plural. This usually means one thing. That also kind of means one thing. So I would say it's probably the plural these. See the circle on the stage floor? Hmm, is where you stand at first. Um, I would say probably that gives direction, right? So we're going to say, you could maybe say this is where we stand first, but I would probably say that, that is where we stand first, or that is where you stand first. Okay, number eight, take this box. Hmm, are the programs to hand out to the audience? Programs is plural. I think it's probably these. Remember, it's the beginning of a sentence, so we're going to capitalize it, right? Okay, hopefully that helped you to understand reflexive and demonstrative pronouns a little bit um, and to use them correctly in the future when you're using them. Um, I would say subject and object are pretty easy. We all have really good experience using those as kindergartners, first graders, second graders, third graders. These become a little bit more tricky and you maybe have a little less experience using them when you're writing. 
probably more when you're speaking, but less when you're writing. So it's good to understand them and to analyze them. And I think that's what grammar is, is just analyzing how we speak and how we write and how we read, right? Okay, thanks very much for joining me.